and welcome to Factorising Quadratics. Uh, just before we start, just a reminder that there is a notes chapter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. So within this video, what we're going to be looking at is expressions that are in the form of x squared plus bx plus c. Um, and the idea is that we're going to factorize those expressions. And if they look like um, x squared plus bx plus c, then they're going to factorize into a pair of brackets, one with x plus or minus something, and the other with x plus or minus something. But the question is, how do we decide what goes in those brackets? Well, it all comes down to the two values that I have colored in green and red. What we're looking for is a pair of numbers which will multiply to make the value that is at the end, the plus c, but they must also add to make the number that is coloured in green, the plus b. If you can work out a pair of numbers which will multiply to make the end and add to make the middle, then you've got the values which will go inside of your two brackets. So let's see if we can put that into action. The idea always being can we find a pair of numbers which will multiply to make the end but add to make the middle? And so where we should always start is with this number at the end. We've got the number 6. So what I want to do first is just make a list of the factors of 6. Hence, because we are factorising. So numbers which will multiply to make 6. We have 1 and 6. We have 2 and 3. What we want to do with that list is then just have a look and say, well, which of the pairs would give us plus 5 if we add them? Well, in this case, it's clearly 2 and 3. And so in our brackets, we would have x in each one. But then we would have a plus 2 in one bracket and a plus 3 in the other bracket. Let's try it again with x squared plus 7x plus 10. I need a pair of numbers which will add to make 10, uh, sorry, multiply to make 10, but add to make 7. So let's find our factors of 10. Well, the first uh, pair of factors will be 1 and itself, so 1 and 10, then 2 and 5. There are no more, so then all I want to do is decide which ones will add to make plus 7. Well, there we are, 2 and 5. And so my brackets, once again, I would have a pair of brackets, each with an x, and then we would have plus 2 in one bracket, plus 7 in the other bracket. And then finally, if we do that for x squared plus 7x plus 12, once again, we're looking for a pair of numbers which will multiply to make the end and add to make the middle. So we want the factors of 12. The factors of 12 are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, and that's the full list. So all I want to do is look for which pair will add together to make plus 7. Well, in this case, it is the last pair. It's 3 and 4. And so my factorised version would be an x in each bracket, plus 3, and plus 4. Now just something to note here with all of our questions and their uh, corresponding answers. If you notice in the original question everything is positive. Everything is positive. Everything is positive. And when we look at our answers everything is positive. Everything is positive and everything is positive. That is a very important feature. If all of the values in the expression are positive, then the factorised version will all be positive too. Okay, so in these questions, you'll notice that um, in this case, we actually have some negative values and specifically negative values at the end in what we've called C. Um, and so with this one, we've just got to be very careful when we're making our pairs, uh, our factor pairs, that we get every different version that we can. So if I want to make negative 6, well, that could be 1 times by negative 6. But it could also be 6 and negative 1. It could be 2 and negative 3. But it could also be 3 and negative 2. We need to make sure we've got all of the possible combinations. We then just need to check, well, which ones would add 
to make positive 5. Well, if I start with 1 take away 6, well, that doesn't work. That would be negative 5. But 6 take away 1, that does work because that gives us positive 5. And so in our brackets, it's still going to be a pair of brackets. They're both going to have x in there. But the first one would have x plus 6. The second would be x minus 1. If we look at negative 5, how do I make negative 5? Well, that would be 1 times by negative 5, but it could also be 5 times negative 1. My question here is, which one will add in order to make positive 4? Well, 1 take away 5, that would be negative 4, but 5 take away 1, that is positive 5, and so those are the pair that we want. We'll have x plus 5, we'll have x take away 1. And then in our last uh, example here, we have um, negative 8. How can I make negative 8? Well, that could be 1 times negative 8, or 8 times negative 1. It could be 2 times negative 4, or 4 times negative 2. Any more? No, no other ways that we can make that multiplication work. So lastly, we just want to check, well, how would I add to make negative 2? Well, the first one, 1 take away 8 is negative 7, so that one doesn't work. 8 take away 1 is 7. 2 take away 4. There is our negative 2. Um, and so, in this case, our pair of brackets, we would have x plus 2, and we would have x take away 4. Now in this one, you will notice we had a negative value at the end. So the green number was negative in each case. And what you will notice from here is that we will always end up with one positive, one negative. One positive, one negative. One positive and one negative. And that's because the two values need to multiply to make a negative number. Okay, and so in our final set of examples, you will find a positive number at the end in C. But you will also find in the middle a negative number. Now the key here is that we need to find two numbers which are going to multiply to make the number at the end. They need to multiply to make 6. But when they add, they have to make a negative value. So we've got to think about our negative numbers here. How can I make a positive number when multiplying if I have negative numbers? Well, it would need to be a negative with another negative. Negative 1 times negative 6 would give me positive 6. Negative 2 times negative 3 would give me positive 6. The question is, how would I add them together to make negative 5? Well, negative 1 plus negative 6, well that would be negative 7, negative 2 plus negative 3, that would be negative 5. And so in this case, our bracket will be x in each, and then take away 2, take away 3. If I needed to make 14, positive 14, but it had to add to make negative 9, well, again, I need to be thinking about negative numbers. So negative 1 with negative 14, negative 2 with negative 7. Which of those would add together to make negative 9? Well, that would be our second one there, negative 2, negative 7. And so our brackets would be x take away 2, x take away 7. And then finally, how do I make the number 10? Well, it has to be positive 10, but add together to make a negative. So again, they're both going to be negatives. So that'll be negative 1, negative 10, negative 2, negative 5. And which one of those pairs would add to make negative 11? Well, it would actually be the first one, negative 1, negative 10. And so x take away 1, x take away 10. And so... Just to point out there, if 
you have a uh, if you have a positive number at the end or a negative number in the middle that tells us we were always going to end up with two negatives on the inside because we need to multiply to make a positive number but add to make a negative the last question i'm giving you today is slightly different uh, to everything we've seen so far because it is only two pieces it says x squared take away nine now the reason that this one is slightly different is we have been looking for x squared plus bx plus c but we don't have a bx section and the reason for that is that the value of b is actually zero this is x squared plus zero x plus sorry take away nine and so what we are looking for here is a pair of numbers which will multiply to make negative nine but add to make zero so the question is what do i multiply to make negative nine well it could be one um, sorry negative one and nine it could be negative nine and one it could be three and negative three the question is which pair of factors would add to make zero well the only way to do that would be three and negative three and so what we've got is x plus three x minus three now this is a very special case and it is known um, at different times as difference of two squares and the reason for that it is the difference the subtraction between two square things x squared and three squared so it's the difference of two squares if you see anything that looks like that it will always have this format one with a plus, uh, plus one with a minus and then in both cases the same number basically the square root of this number at the end it's a very special case of factorizing quadratics and so we end with the exam question it came from the edxl paper in november 2017 and it was foundation paper 2 um, we've been asked to factorize x squared plus 6x plus 9 so just as we've done in every question the first thing i want to know is what can i multiply to make positive 9 now we also have to just check here what is in the middle it's a positive because everything is positive this is telling me that all of my factors will also be positive so i just need to think what can i multiply to make nine well that will be one and nine three and three and that will be it and so i just need to check which one is going to add to make six well the only one which adds to make six is three and three and so i've got x in both brackets it's plus three and it's plus three this could be written as x plus three squared but that that's just a little aside this one here is exactly right